Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. There's a lot going on behind the scenes of Battlefield 2042. We just got word the game will include some fan-favorite maps as part of that yet-to-be-titled game mode DICE teased previously, but there is also the news that DICE LA is no more. That's right, the studio has officially been rebranded by EA as Ripple Effect Studios. Now, a different name may not seem like a major change, but it is a sign of a significant shift, and one that I believe will impact the Battlefield franchise as well as others. DICE LA had a long history. The studio had been around since 2013, built up with developers from the shuttered Danger Close games. Since then, it has largely toiled away as a support studio for DICE in Sweden. In fact, many expansions for previous Battlefield games were spawned by DICE LA, including some fan favorites. My first creator experience happened with Battlefield 1's They Shall Not Pass DLC, which, if I remember correctly, was a DICE LA product. With Battlefield 2042, the studio had been working on the game's planned live service for over a year, and that work is expected to continue as Ripple Effect Studios. DICE LA never produced a standalone game, at least officially, but it looks like all of that's going to change soon, and the name change is part of that. DICE LA had long lived in the shadows of its Swedish counterpart, and indeed the studio name itself implies a connection, if not a bit of subservience. Under Ripple Effect Studios, developers have a chance to brand themselves as something separate. This is vital if you're looking for a clean slate with your first full game release. That's exactly what Ripple Effect Studios is doing. The rebranding may have come as a shock to some, but the truth is DICE LA was clearly put on this path last year when EA tapped Respawn's co-founder and CEO Vince Zampella to lead the studio. At the time, Zampella mentioned the stigma surrounding the DICE LA name and stressed the need to rebrand as a way to showcase a new attitude and present the studio as a, quote, destination you can go and make new content, end quote. Fast forward a year later, and here we are. Zampella is an industry veteran and has been behind some of the biggest franchises in video games. Hall of Duty, Medal of Honor, Titanfall, Apex Legends. Zampella has had a hand in all of it, even Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. The point is, Zampella has enjoyed success leading several studios, so I do have some high expectations for Ripple Effect. One of his major priorities appears to be hiring, indicating that the studio is expanding to support its development efforts. Ripple Effect Studios will be opening a new campus in Los Angeles. Whether or not that means the old location will close is unknown, but it does point to a significant bump in employees and plans for a big future. Both Sam Pella and Ripple Effect General Manager Christian Grass are, quote, focused on bringing in an influx of talented developers, artists, and engineers to make our vision a reality, end quote. That is according to the studio's website. Very little is known about Ripple Effect's vision for its first standalone title, but the plethora of job listings reveals some new information. For example, calls for a senior technical artist specifically mention Frostbite, indicating there's a good chance the new title will be running on that engine. A job listing for a senior world artist specifically mentions narrative elements and encounters, which could point to a game with a single-player component. A listing for a senior technical designer mentions multiplayer experience and artificial intelligence. Meanwhile, a call for a senior software engineer gives preference to a developer with experience shipping games for consoles. It's not a ton of information there, but it does say certainly a little bit about their ambition. On the topic of DICE LA's rebrand, GM Christian Grass mentions they are proud of their work as DICE LA and the DICE team will forever be a part of the studio's DNA. I actually really like some of the studio's branding, specifically these purple ripples here. I'm sure it's no accident that the look and name of Ripple Effect pays homage to an earlier DICE logo, though the studio's official line is, quote, with one drop of inspiration, the idea begins to spread and the smallest idea quickly grows into something bigger than us, end quote. 
Lastly, the decision to rebrand Dice LA could reflect a broader strategy at EA to provide more in-house resources to Dice in Stockholm. Personally, I believe this would be a good decision with positive implications for fans and the Battlefield franchise as a whole. It's not immediately clear how long Ripple Effect will continue to work on content for the upcoming Battlefield 2042, but with their own game on deck, those days may be numbered. There is a chance a different studio will be tapped to support the Battlefield franchise. I'll try to keep an eye out for any new developments there. However, I want to know what you think. Tell me what you think of the name change for DICE LA, shifting to Ripple Effect Studios. What do you think this means for Battlefield? What kind of game do you think Ripple Effect Studios is working on creating? Tell me your thoughts down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If not, a dislike. Make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to get updates on all of the latest videos. If you want to support the channel, you should go check out my latest video on War Thunder. I took some time to look at some of the weirdest vehicles in the game. You'll find a link to that down below in the video description. And as always, thanks for watching.